Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Water Cooler. I am Sarah from Texas, and this is our place to chat all the latest reality TV gossip, P. Diddy gossip, whatever that falls underneath. Oh my gosh, Jeff Lewis Live, Jeff Lewis Extended. Oh my gosh. I hope y'all are having an amazing weather day like we are. I hope you're having a better contact day than me, though, because I just popped my contact in and it feels off. I have an astigmatism, so I think when you get it off the circle, like it is wonky doodle. So anyways, I can't read comments if I can't see with my, my contact in. Anyways, I do have a sweatshirt on to run some errands and sweatpants, but soon I am going to be in my bikini because it is a UV of nine. My teenage daughter lets me know when the UV is perfect for laying out. Her and her bestie are laying out right now. Um, I was going to lay out yesterday and the UV went down, but also it was cold. I was like, shit, never mind. Anyways, I love the sun. I really do. It's fair as I am, and I've had such a love-hate relationship with it. Um, yes, I get checked every June for the dermatologist. Um, I just, it's just so relaxing. I don't know. It's just so relaxing. I love the heat more than the winter any day, all day for sure. So it's so pretty. Oh, somebody said it's pouring where you're at. Um. I know we get a lot of rain here in Houston. Trust me. Anyways. Yes. Lori on TikTok says she loves the sun. Me too. Y'all tap the screen over on TikTok. It brings, it just, it's free. It brings more, you know, reality TV people and stuff. Thank you, Mary. I did have a good birthday. Thank you. I've been eating a lot, celebrating a lot, giving myself all the permission to eat all the things. I just snacked on some ruffles and Dean's French onion chips. So anyways, oh, Kathy, it's raining in Ohio. I don't know if I've ever been to Ohio in my life. That whole area besides Chicago once, literally, I surprised my husband with a trip there. Um, Iowa, we have family in Iowa. I don't know geography very well. Whatever that area is. No, I have been to St. Louis for a vacation. Anyways, I don't think I've ever been to Ohio. Anyways, hey, Tiffany Chump, shout out Chumpettes. Oh my gosh. Um, let's get into it. What the hell's going on? P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, all the names, whatever the names are, it is not going to protect him from whatever's going on. So yesterday we saw the pictures. We got the TMZ alert. His Miami house, his Los Angeles mansion. Uh, was raided by the federal police, whatever they are. I don't even know what it's called. Somebody really big. Anyways, um, he they were like following his private jet. I guess he landed in Antigua or somewhere. I don't even think they've arrested him, though. They've arrested some drug mule. What is a drug mule? Is that the same as a drug? What's a drug mule? I know a mule means you carry the things. Is that some? I don't even know what that means. I read some article about like his personal assistant. I don't know what her KK. Uh, the there's so many allegations of just horrific things going on. But just the fact he's got seven kids, so there's a lot of people depending on him. Um, some are adults, some are young, so a good mix of all the ages of his kids. But Wendy Williams has been warning about not all these details, but she's definitely been saying some things about Puff Daddy for a long time. So, um, and then there was the other uh, lawsuit. I have a feeling with lots of these people, you know, money, power, I mean, can do a lot of things, right? They can hide a lot of things. They can silence. They can intimidate a lot of people from even ever saying this stuff. I say it all the time. I, 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 Bill Cosby, that shocked me to my core. Like I almost say, I feel like something's tickling me. I almost say no one can shock me. Nothing can shock me anymore after Bill Cosby. Not that we knew him, 
but we just felt like we knew so much about him in his personal life and the TV shows, uh, what he stood for. And then to know he was doing like horrendously disgusting, vile things for decades. And yet he was in such a place of power and intimidation that nobody would ever believe, you know, the father of sitcom TV, right? Would ever do such things. This married father of five children, you know, had his master's degree in like child psychology, something like that. I mean, he did TV shows to like help little kids, you know, to um, educate children, to, to raise up the, um, the, the, I just, just people. I mean, it was just awful. Anyway, so I always say I'm not surprised, but P. Diddy, I wouldn't say I was surprised, but I do think as much money as he brought into other, and he, how he affected other people, I think all those kinds of things. Yeah, not Dr. Huxtable. Exactly. We didn't want to believe it. Um, And he's so damn unattractive. Like, ugh, ugh. I mean, Bill Cosby, like you just don't even see him like that. Like I just see him as if like he and his wife like did it five times to have the five children and that's all she could bear. You know what I mean? He's not like the hottest dude or anything. Not that Puff Daddy is either, but he's got lots of other allegations. Anyways, 50 Cent posting about it. They've had a long time beef. I don't know that, you know, minutes into it, an hour into the, the police raid is the time to be posting publicly about it, but leave it to 50 cent to do that. I mean, it's so crazy. Oh, wait, murder. I haven't heard of that. Yvonne, I guess there could be worse. Yes. I definitely heard sex trafficking. Uh, no, I haven't heard all the other stuff. Anyways, it's just crazy. That's true. Carrie says the question is, will P. Diddy get jail time here in the U.S. or will he just hide out in another country? I think they can extradite him back to the U.S., right, to, to face all these charges. Somebody said that, um, uh, what's the other guy that left? Shit, married to the guy. Anyways, he, he got, he got um, given some, I forget that guy's name. What's the dude's name? I know y'all are going to know it. His wife, they have kids. <laughs> <laughs> like that narrows it down. Anywho, um, I'm more concerned about Kim Kardashian and what what is going on. First of all, I thought nobody could own a fur coat anymore. I, I I thought if you owned a fur coat as a rich and famous person, you could only wear it if you were like 90 and above, age 90, and like PETA wouldn't bother you. But who knows? I don't know if they're real fakes. If they're uh, if they're real. Uh, fur coats, if they're faux fur coats or what have you. But Kim Kardashian's looks very much like, I mean, to say, you know, Kanye West has a type. I mean, his two, you know, ex -wife, his ex-wife and his current wife look very, very similar. But I saw this picture of her that she posted seemingly naked. The breasts are out. And they look beautiful in a long fur coat with pantyhose underneath. Very similar to what Kanye's current wife, Bianca, was caught wearing recently. Like, what? So weird. I mean, the outfits are weird, but the fact that you know, you know they know what the other one is wearing. I don't, it's not like it's trends where it's like, oh, it's black, you know, pleather pants. No, I mean, not many women are half naked, literally naked in a long trench coat, fur coat, and pantyhose and high heels. Like that's a very specific look. So the fact that Bianca and Kim Kardashian have done it recently and posted it. So weird. So weird. Um, oh, Cecily says is that a dog mom shirt. Yes. Dog mama. I mean, yes. Anyways. Um, yes, I agree, Mary. I agree. Mary says, I'm sorry, but it's gross that they go out in public to restaurants looking the way they do. Bianca and them have gone to Cheesecake Factory, a very, not that I think these fancy like, you know, Nobu and Malibu or Craig's, what are all the other fancy restaurants? You know, maybe at night, like a nine o'clock, 10 o'clock reservation, you know, places to be seen and heard, but walking through the Grove, like on a weekday, 
to go to Cheesecake Factory, like half dressed. She went to a movie the other day in like a bathing suit with again, like pantyhose underneath. I'm freezing inside of a, a, a movie theater. I would wear this to a movie theater. Like not that I'm hanging out with Kanye West, but she never even seems to have a jacket on. She's never carrying a purse. Obviously, she and Kanye are never even talking. They seem to be going places everywhere. Are they that hungry? Are they that, like, they've gone to the movies. They've gone to get ice cream. I mean, cheesecake, so weird. I more understand it. I understand the fashion thing, although I have zero interest in that, obviously. But like I said, just, I do think it's gross. I think it's weird. I think she's got to be cold. It's freaking March. It's not like it's August where it's free. It's, it's where it's warm. Yes. <laughs> I'm good. Are you says it's like his spouse, like Kim Kardashian was his art on his arm, right? We know he did that with her. He's very much doing with this, with his wife, Bianca. Now Kanye, Kanye says it's art. I would be frozen. Yeah. And you see him all dressed up. Like he's not freezing. Like, dude, he's sitting in the movies all warm and cozy. And I'm like, she's like freezing. So weird. I'd be, I'd be upset too. Um, did anyone click on the latest clickbait from Kim Zolciak, Beerman? She still hasn't taken Beerman off of her name. Uh, who posted it? Bravo by Betches. Somebody sent me, I think Bravo by Betches posted the picture. I guess she had, clearly I'd post on my Instagram. She had done, a, you know, like the broken heart thing. Like I didn't cheat on Kanye. Click here for more, you know, link in bio. I used to think link in bio was like a good thing, right? That meant like, oh, there's a ticket for sale or, you know, here's the information. Here's my website to go buy merch, people would say, or link in bio to go buy tickets for their shows. Now I feel like Kim Kardashian is, I mean, Kim Kardashian, Kim B Zolciak Bierman has made link in bio mean absolute clickbait. Like go click on my shit so I can get paid. Bravo by Betches, it is March 26. They don't pay rent on this house. I don't know when their mortgage is due, uh, but it had a little thing that said like the rent was due or something that she had to make this. She's posted so many clickbaits. It's just gross. It's embarrassing. Like, I don't know how they're paying their bills. I mean, is their kids to private school tuition current? Um, is, is her target bill paid in full? Like, I have no idea. We know she's getting her nails done. We know she, and she said sometime recently that she was paying for her, I forget, within a month or two, she said, oh, well, we're paying for this nail salon. Like she would tag the nail salon, but then she would say that she was paying for that. But I think all these other medical places she's posting about, I'm assuming she's, I'm assuming this is like a paid ad or she's getting this medical stuff. The thing is, unless you were getting an actual paycheck, like dollars, don't be getting all this medical help just in exchange for whatever. Go to Target and say, hey, I'll repost you to give me a, you know, give me a thousand dollars worth of groceries for my kids. Like, don't be getting all this medical work that's unnecessarily, not even medical work, plastic surgery stuff, right? The comments underneath that post are hilarious, though. People are talking about she hasn't looked 45 since she's the day she started Real Housewives of Atlanta. She does look good when she looks. She's one of those, to me, that either looks good or just doesn't look good. You know, those people that just depending on, I don't know how it happens that way. She's definitely one that can like look really good or like kind of not. I don't know. I don't know how much. Melanie says Croy gets his retirement from the NFL. At one point, I heard 5,000. I have no idea if that's accurate or not, but that would not put a dent in their bills. A family of that size, the, to maintain that house, the, the cars, the insurance, her hair and makeup, the clothes, the private tuition. Croy gets his retirement from the NFL, so I'm guessing he's paying tuition but I've never known anyone that has stayed so long in a house without paying the house payments. Are they not paying the house payments though? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if they're not paying the house payments. 
Um, wait, Carrie on TikTok says they say Puffy records video of everything. So this is going to be all bad. Yeah. I think another lawsuit or somebody that's made some allegations, what, about a month ago? Uh, a guy, I forget the guy's name, uh, made some sexual allegations. Um, but he said he's got lots of video and audio to prove all of the stuff he was saying. Krista. I mean, she does sell this cosmetics, right? Is it Cab? K-A-B Cosmetics? Has anyone ever bought it? Is she... Krista says she was living like a billionaire and they never had the money they were living up to nowhere close. Do we even know, you know, all the allegations that um, Corey has made uh, about her having being an alcoholic, you know, drinking lots of wine and being uh, addicted to uh, gambling. Like you don't just stop that. So is she still doing all that? Um, true. Well, maybe they do like it. Crafty Dodger says the FBI doesn't seem to like people who keep recordings like Epstein. I mean, maybe that is the proof they need. So maybe they do actually like it. Who knows? Um, I agree. Maybe says seems you can't trust anyone anymore. Like literally, I've said it so many times. Um, again, not that we knew, you know, Bill Cosby, just everything we knew about him. You just it. To me, the Bill Cosby thing came out of the blue. And the saddest part of that, one of the saddest parts, there's a million, is I feel like clearly so many people had been, uh, had experienced what he does to people, you know, the drugging and manipulation and intimidation and saying, you won't work in this town, all the things uh, for decades. And they never felt like I couldn't tell anyone because no one's going to believe me. It's freaking Bill Cosby. Dr. Huxtable himself, you know what I mean? The guy that in crate created all these TV shows to like act educational TV shows on PBS. Um, yes. Papa Bear said, it makes me wonder what we don't know. It's so sad. Yeah. And again, power and money. Wow. K Boo says the feds will throw the book at P Diddy. And he'll be litigated into bankruptcy in prison like R. Kelly and Epstein. Where is R. Kelly? Is he in prison? Yeah, I think he is. I know Epstein, clearly. What happened there? Um, yeah. I don't know which comedian talked about Bill Cosby. Louise said, I'd heard he was bad news talking about P. Diddy. What's the name of the comedian that talked about Co Bill Cosby drugging women? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, another. Oh, my God. Wait, it, did that already happen, Cecily? Okay, I did not know of this. Was it a family or two best friends, two sister-in-laws? I feel like it's two women, two moms that had these vlogs, these YouTube channels, right? It was on YouTube, not TikTok. Or was it on everything? This Ruby Frank thing with all the kids. Um, no, and they looked like normal, but I guess people were saying there was all these signs that they thought they were seeing. I don't, it's so weird. So weird. I do. I, you know who I thought of the other day on TikTok? Um, what's her name? Shit. Um, the lady who's very anorexic, allegedly she's been on TikTok for years. She's been on YouTube for years. Um, gosh. Not Cooley. That's the other girl. Um, anyways, I think she was taken off, but then I'm wondering like whatever happened to her. And like, I'm assuming that was her income. I don't know. I don't know anything about her. She would come on late at night. She always had her lots of hair and makeup done meticulously, her outfits meticulously. Um, I did get told she got taken. Off. Yes. The goth looking girl, Maybu. Um, but her mom would come on. I mean, like she's been on social media for like nine, 10 years looking this way. She's gone off every once in a while and, and been very, she's very private. It's almost like she sees the comments that are written and she just doesn't even, she's like, oh, just be nice. And oh, thank you for the stars. Thank you for, I mean, wow. wow. Eugenia Clooney. Thank you. Eugenia Clooney. 
Like what's going on with her? Like these are the things that keep me up at night. It's like people that I talked about this last week, but the girl, um, the the pearl girl, pearly, uh, sparklies, whatever. She had a couple of different names, but the girl with blonde hair in San Diego that would like crawl up to people and sing ain't nothing but a hound dog. Like, where is she at? Like what happened? Where is um the girl that just got a, out of prison for um murdering her her mom? She didn't murder, but the you know, the one that's married, you know, she went off social media. Like, these are the things I think about. Anyways, what else? Oh my gosh, I wasted my time uh, watching part two of 90 Day Fiance. Tell all. Such a waste of time. On part three, I think next week, thank God it'll be the last one. We've already seen the preview. I guess Josh is going to propose to Natalie, but literally last night, he's literally saying, we, we're not even boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, you know, you're trying to talk about having a baby with me. He's like, we're not even in a relationship. And then he's going to propose to her. Like he, he must be doing this just to stay on TV, just to get his name out there whatever his company is with his two business partners. Um, yeah. Krista says YouTube is responsible for pulling Eugenia Clooney. So TikTok, I don't think took her off. I heard it was YouTube that took her off. Maybe she went off TikTok too. I don't know, but there's other people with similar, similar stuff. You know what I mean? But you know, it's, it's like the train wreck. You can't stop watching. Um, YouTube is responsible for pulling Eugenia Clooney. She's impacting thousands of young people. She's a hardcore shock person. I would venture to say a lot of people impact in their daily, you know, the, the body image, the d body dysmorphia, the models, the TV shows. I mean, I sound like a 70 year old woman, but you know, the magazines, Social media, the filters, all of that affects a lot of young girls. I'm not saying that she doesn't also, but there's a lot of that, that it makes money for a lot of people. So they'll never take it away. I, you know, my daughter at her college, her sorority, they get together and watch The Bachelor. I, I never hear of anyone watching The Bachelor anymore. K-Boo says, is anyone watching The Bachelor anymore? I don't. I don't, but I see social media posts about it. I mean, I hear way more people talking about love is blind than The Bachelor. I don't know. Who knows? Um, please report the others. Who, Krista? Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, the other people, the other girls that are whatever. <gasps> Wow. Cecily says Ruby Frankie had 2 million subscribers. We need to be aware. Yeah. So crazy. I have heard love on the spectrum is so good. Krista, I have heard that. Um, I saw a clip of one of the guys being interviewed and he was so cute recently. It was very sweet. Um, oh, that's sweet. Dolly girl. My son watches the bachelor with his girlfriend. Oh, that's actually sweet. Um, okay, what do we think of Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade having a little Instagram comment flirt? Um, Kyle commented, save a horse, ride a cowgirl. And underneath it, Morgan Wade put like the, what was it? Like the skeleton, clunk, I'm, I'm dead. You know, like the skeleton emoji, the, the graveyard, the fire emoji, whatever. Very, very confusing. Not confusing and disgusting is the DM that Sarah Colonna either was given. I first heard it was posted on a Patreon uh, message board. I have no idea what's true because I'm not on this Patreon. Uh, but now I see, it, and it was written to Sarah Colonna. I assume it's still up. So as we know, she was on Jeff Lewis Live yesterday's show. Uh, big, you know, hoopla for months over Heather McDonald, Jeff Lewis, Sarah Colonna, all the things, if you know, you know, which I know you do. Um, It's up on her Instagram story and it's like, you know, basically uh, the C word, uh, another C word, C-U-N-T word, 
the C word being cancer, saying, I hope you pass away. Like I have a horrific death like your dad did. Um, I, something about her husband. Your husband's going to eventually leave you because he wants to have kids. But she's like, imagine being sent this over being on a radio show. I mean, social media, y'all know, Chumpettes have been here for a long time, well before me, well after me. Y'all see comments, y'all see Reddit, y'all see Facebook groups, comments that people have the balls to say publicly. The fact that someone even thought all of these things about Sarah Colonna over something they probably don't even know all the facts about. And why are they that invested to be so vile? But not only to think these things, I mean, it was awful, but to write it out in words, like disgusting, Disgust, disgusting. Thank you. Krista says, what you went through was shameful and horrible. I'm still angry. Trust me, angry. I'm not even, I, you know, you shouldn't let people that you don't know hurt your feelings. But I think what hurt my feelings is people that I did know, people that I had met, that then you see the things they say or they just quit talking to you all, all abruptly. You know what I mean? That's what hurts my feelings. But anyways, um, back to this thing about Sarah Colonna. You know, even Jeff touched on it, which we'll talk about Jeff Lewis Live, of course, in a minute. But he touched on with Tyler uh, Henry today. He was like, look, I recently hired somebody, hired a group, I think he said. He was talking about the um, the Lisa Barlow social media you know, person that he hired uh, to look into these accounts that were like posting and saying all this nonsense about him. And to figure out who they are. You know what I mean? Um, but he was like, you know, maybe I just need to ask you, Tyler. Uh, but it's just awful. I mean, I, you know, in some ways, we all know that being famous, being a celebrity, being a comedian, an actor, all the things that Sarah Colonna is, that it kind of comes with the territory. Disgusting. Over the line. Unnecessary. Horrific. Just brutal. Um, scary, frightening. Ugh. I mean, it's it's alarming. It's alarming what people feel like they can say. It's really, really gross. Um, you know, and just it's just one more thing that that just makes me like take a step back and think myself, what am I doing? Why am I, you know, I started a fun fan account because Kind of like something Tyler talked about, you know, having like your passion and like doing what makes you happy, what you want to do. First of all, I love people. I love reality TV. I love meeting new people. I love doing stuff. Um, I love chatting about Jeff Lewis live because I had no one else to chat about Jeff Lewis with. But I can tell you all the social media nonsense and the, the meanness and the cruelty even when it happens to other people, you know, even this thing that was written uh, to Sarah Colonna, it still makes me think, oh my God, like what, what is going on in the world? Like, why are, why is this okay? You know what I mean? Um, hi, Looney. Even Luna's like, people are just mean. Um, but it's just, it crosses the line and it, you know, um, it's just really, really, really disgusting. Thank you, Lori. Um, yes, Cecily. And here we are. Cecily says, I'm on a mission to only go onto positive places on social media. And this is one of them. Like, I just want to chat reality TV. Yes, gossip is fun. Jeff Lewis is fun. But all the nonsense that other people deal with that I've dealt with, it really, it really takes a toll as much as you think you don't want it to affect you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Um, yes. So true. I'm good. Are you? And trust me, I do feel like the truth always comes out. 
I do feel like the assholes always come to, they always rise up and come out, right? I'm just patiently waiting. Remember my mom taught us, do unto others as you would want done unto you. I love us all being together on here. Y'all make it enjoyable like our little Luna. Thank you. Exactly. That's my thing is I don't like to go to a show by myself. So I would never want somebody else to be by themselves if they don't want to. So that's my thing is like, you know, let's chat Jeff Lewis, you know, let's chat, let's go to a show. Let's do all the fun things that we wouldn't necessarily do if we didn't, you know, since we don't have someone to go to it with, but you don't have to, like we can meet each other. You know what I mean? We have met each other. So anyways, I'm Cheryl Crow says, why are they going after her? Simply because uh, they fell, she felt she um, was unloyal to Heather McDonald. Did, did Heather McDonald wrong? I mean, it's the DM specifically says that it is on Sarah Colonna's Instagram story, which means it will disappear. Um, soon after, right after, maybe she had a story where Chris Frangiola, uh, was in her house, giving her some lemons from his lemon tree. So anyways, just disgusting. Um, Larsa Pippen and Marcus have split up big deal anyways. Okay. Uh, yes. Rebecca says most Exactly. Most of the Jeff Lewis, I call them the coffee picture, the morning photos have so many horrible comments directed to the host, not just Sarah Col Colonna. No, this was, I don't think was posted uh, underneath the comments. I don't feel like uh, Sarah Colonna said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the facts. Sarah Colonna only knows where it came from. I was told two different things. I was told it was typed in a Patreon message board. Uh, and somebody sent me a screenshot of it last night. And then I went and looked and it was on uh, Sarah Colonna's Instagram story as if it was a DM sent to her. She was something about her. Anyways, thank you, Sonia. Um, anyways, I mean, and that's, you know, I go back and forth on like even wanting to participate in something like just commenting. I would literally under the Jeff Lewis coffee picture. I would type like, happy Tuesday. This is a fun group or let's have a great day, a great show. And you'd have a bunch of assholes coming at me. And I'm like, literally, like, why are you doing this on the Jeff Lewis page when all I'm doing is saying like, hey, let's have a great show just like everyone else is or whatever. But anyway, anyways, thank you to the ones that are awesome. Anyways, I mean, you're not the only one, Maybu. Maybu says, okay, I might be the only one, but Larsa Pippen isn't my favorite person. I just can't warm up to her. Yeah, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. Uh, brighter news. What a positive, uplifting. Well, not, not the case. The calls were not. But anyways, other than that, Jeff Lewis Live today was Tyler Henry, medium, psychic. I guess the words are interchangeable. And Carney Wilson were on. Um, Carney kind of started off saying that she feels spirits too. She didn't really go into that, but the people that were all on, even Liot, who co-hosted the after the extended, uh, good friend of Jeff Lewis for a long time, she was actually really good. Like I don't remember her ever being on. I know her name because. They vacation together every once in a while, right? I think their kids are friends. They go to each other's birthday parties, things like, you know, the kids' birthday parties. Um, she was really comfortable, like, out the gate with Joey. So um, somebody, Rebecca says, what's an angel number? An angel number is a number, like, that you see or that means something to you. A lot of, like, is um, 11, 111, I think, is a big angel number. I have always noticed my birthday, 324, March 24, and like the clock, uh, like if the digital clock says 324, I've just noticed it probably because it's my birthday, but I did look up angel number for 324 and I posted on my Instagram story. So it actually does have a meaning. I thought it was like the popular numbers. You know what I mean? Yes. Liat was on flipping out. She was uh, getting her house redone, just like he became friends with Monica. Uh, Monica Casey from there too. So anyways, I thought she was really good. Uh, they talk about him doing his live shows, 
Uh, he had a show that was celebrities. I think that kind of, I think he had four seasons of that, but he kind of felt like the celebrities were kind of coming on, not necessarily because they uh, were open to a reading from him, but it was just for like a TV, like, you know, their manager had been like, oh, you should go on this show. Um, I do love when he talked about like pursuing your passion, but that it comes along with risks. It definitely made me think of, you know, the cruelty that's out there for sure. Um, because, you know, I had zero idea about like fan accounts or blogs, uh, you know, podcasts, you know, all the Bravo, whatever. So all I knew is I had no one to talk about Jeff Lewis live with. And I thought, oh, let me do it. Let me do a fan account of Jeff Lewis. We'll find other people to chat about Jeff Lewis with. Clearly, I'm a fan of lots of, you know, all the housewives, the Bravo shows, reality TV, all the things. But I mean, day one is the second I went live. I had grown ass women claiming to be respectable human beings in society commenting publicly under my Instagram live. Like, why are you doing this? We don't need this. This is dumb. And then saying worse on the Facebook groups, the message boards, the Reddit. And it's only gotten worse from there. But anyways, you know, I love chatting. I love Jeff Lewis Live. And then I think, you know, do I let the mean people win? Do I let them like ruin it for me? And like, so that's kind of what. But I know I, I did love him talking about, but then talking about your passion and just doing it, but the risks that kind of go along into it for sure. I heard you on the radio, Crafty Dodger. Lisa called into the after show. Yes, the celebrities were not into it like the regular people in his radio, sh in his later show. Yeah, and I, I kind of go back and forth. I sort of like the celebrity aspect of Hollywood House Lift. I wouldn't be opposed if it went back to something that was not as all celebrities like flipping out, flipping out. I figure I had a tiny mix of it. You know what I mean? So anyways, yes, don't let the creeps win. Exactly. But you know what? It's really easy to let all that stuff seep in. It really is. Anyway, sadly, um, I did hear Tyler make, I guess Tyler either listens to the show. Maybe they talked about it at coffee this morning, but did you hear the little blurb? They were talking about hiring the team to find out who the mean trolls were. And Tyler said, maybe it's Heather McDonald or said it's Heather McDonald. They just kind of slipped right over that. I was like, Oh my God, Jeff's like, I'm not going there later. Was it the Jeff Lewis extended show? I think somebody called in and just said, hey, I do love you and Heather and I hope y'all can work things out. And he was very, uh, he was very just like, thank you. Thank you very much for that. He didn't really say either way, right? Didn't really say either way. Um, yes, Darla, the best revenge is living well. Yeah, but man, those trolls are relentless, relentless. Um. Well, duh, Mary says, are you going to watch the Valley tonight? I know we're not even talking about Vanderpump rules, are we? I have a super fun, um, super fun adult Easter egg, Easter party, like a tea party to go to tonight with some friends. So I'll be there for a couple of hours and everything. But if I stay up late enough, I will watch the Valley when I get home. If not, I'll have to watch it tomorrow. Anyways, I'm so excited. I mean. I'm definitely loving uh, the Valley more than I do Heather McDonald, uh, more than uh, Vanderpump Rules. I'm reading comments as I'm whatever. Um, oh, wait, why would she impersonate him? Somebody says Heather, Heather, Melanie says Heather McDonald does a cringy impersonation of Tyler Henry. I bet he's not fond of it. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Makes sense for sure. Um Social Mama Five. Yes, it wouldn't actually be her, but it could be a troll pretending to be her to cause drama online. Yeah, which we've seen before, right? I guess where somebody fake got on my YouTube acting like Paige Davis, which was weird, had a picture of Paige Davis up and everything. I, you know, everyone thought it was her saying hi, and then I guess it wasn't. 
Who knows? Who knows? Yes. Yeah. Go back and listen to today's show, Louise, where Tyler said Heather was doing it. She said Heather McDonald. Anyways, um, somebody had a really good question. Now, I'm not. I did have my reading uh, with Paul and Patrick in person at BravoCon, uh, November 2023. I've never had one done. I've never had a coffee reading. I've never seen a psychic. I've never had a medium. None of those things. First of all, it was really fun, but I do think there are people that are probably more open. Jeff talked about like thin people versus thick people. Like, you know, he was saying Naya is a thick person, you know, not really open to this kind of thing. Uh, but poll absolutely. I mean, one of the huge things was th I thought BravoCon was my last trip of 2023. And he said, where are you traveling? I'm like, nowhere. And this is literally all on video because somebody was videoing it. And, and I talked about it right afterwards. In December, I ended up having three unexpected trips. Remember, Jeff and them invited me last, not last minute, but without me knowing. I didn't know it at this time. I knew about none of these trips at the time. To the Hollywood House of Season 2 premiere party. Uh, Jeff Lewis Live announced a Jeff Lewis Live event. So I flew out for that. And um, the $10,000 dinner that Melanie and Scott invited me to. So all of that. And then I ended up having a live event in January that none of that was even being talked about with me yet. Like that person had not reached out to me yet. Crazy. So I ended up going to LA back in January. So four trips that he's adamant, like, where are you traveling to? You're traveling too much. You're traveling soon. I'm like, hmm, so crazy. Never would have thought. But I do think... um, I don't, I mean, he didn't really, the call that called in said, how is manifestation different than like having an intuition? Like if I think something, am I manifesting it and kind of hoping and working through and, and visualizing and having it happen? Or do I have intuition and it ends up happening because if it's bad things, all these callers called in, it was a lot of bad stuff, right? Like I felt like my brother was hurt. I felt like my nephew was hurt and I called and he was, he was in a car wreck. I mean, like all this stuff, like I've definitely had deja vu. So deja vu is very different to, I don't know the physiological about it, but to me, deja vu is when you're literally thinking something's happened. And, and you're like, oh my God, like you just feel like this current conversation or action has already happened. So I've definitely had that, but I've never like seen a ghost. I've never had anything move. I've never seen an orb personally. So all of those kinds of things, I'm either just not seeing, I'm not recognizing whatever, but I just thought it was a really, besides the phone calls that were really sad, I thought it was a really positive, like Jeff is very into it. He talked about scary Sherry a lot. Um, Carney's very into it. Clearly Tyler says he's been a medium since he was like 10 years old. Um, so it was very good. And then on the Jeff Lewis extended show. Um, oh, thank you for sharing the live TikTok patch. Um, his friend Liat is one of scary Sherry's big customers too. So she's very into it. She actually knew a lot about it. And kind of explained it a little more, I felt like. Joey didn't seem to be as into it, but Joey's very, um, Joey's very positive. That kind of, that's his kind of his theme. That's kind of what he talks about on TikTok and um, Instagram. You know, just being very positive, being, you know, motivational, encouraging. Like, so I, it was just such a good show. And then they said Tyler's in an eight-year relationship. So since he was like 20, he's 28 years old. It's a long time. Um, so that cats can see the other world. I think Liat told us that. I was like, what? <gasps> Darlene, is anyone, is anyone feel like they're a, a, a psychic? Um, Darlene says, I see orbs. I see energy. I see light. I've seen a ghost. I love that. How does it make you feel? Like, are you scared of that? If you feel that stuff, is it, is it scary? Is it sad? Is it, is it a happy thing? Like if you're seeing a person that you love, does it make you sad because you're seeing a person that you love and you miss? Is it just all different emotions depending on what it is? Um, 
Oh, okay. The doc on Tyler Henry shows the doc. Oh, a documentary. Is there a documentary on Tyler Henry? Krista says the doc on Tyler Henry shows a lot about his guy and relationship. Oh, that's cool. Um, Oh, I love that. Louise says, I was 23 when my mom passed away. She promised to come back if she could, and she did. At times of need, including on my wedding day. Oh, I love that. So she was, she was, she, she was able to tell you before she passed away that she would come back to you and, and let you know that it was her. I love that. That's probably the, the best. Um, Sarah on Instagram says, my mom has seen people she loved. I think it would scare the hell out of me. I know. I don't know which, which it would. I guess whenever I see hummingbirds, I think of my mom, but I don't know that she is the hummingbird. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, Oh, Darlene, we need you. I'm not afraid at all. Once you see, you cannot see, you cannot see anymore. And yes, I would say that I'm a psychic and a healer. Oh, I love that. Darla also. I'm a believer too, but I predicted things. There was no way for me to know. Wow. Um, Jeff talked about his grandma too, which he likes talking about. Lots of talk about Cabo. So we will get that. So Jeff leaves uh, next Wednesday. They come back Sunday, but they will be doing the show. Jeff Lewis live from Thursday and Friday. So we won't miss anything uh, from that. Um, tomorrow is Sutton Strack and Doug Buden and then Poland Patrick on Jeff Lewis Extended. If you're lucky enough to watch the Valley live, I'm so jealous. Well, I'm not jealous. I'm excited to go to this party. This party would be fun. Um, but anyways, I got to go lay out in the sun and then take a shower, get ready and then make my um, uh, chicken salad croissant sandwiches. Cause we're supposed to bring a tea, like a tea room type meal like to share. So I'm going to eat some good food tonight for sure. I mean, all the, cause right. Party food, zero calories. Anyways, thank you so much for joining live. It is so much more fun. If you're listening or watching on a replay, please comment. We still love to hear what you have to say, what you think about everything. Make sure to like, make sure to follow me everywhere under Sarah from Texas and join the Facebook group, Sarah from Texas. They're really fun. I know I'm not creative. Crafty Dodger, Lisa says, I love the theme parties you go to. This set of friends I've had for a long time, but it's, it's actually, they've combined a lot of these groups of friends and they're having like, yeah, they're hosting like these themed parties. It's really fun anyways. Um, okay. I will see y'all tomorrow. Same place, same time. Thank y'all for being awesome. And thank you for not being mean humans. Thank you. <laughs> that we talked about earlier.